I am Tiffany, and I will be demonstrating how to code stationary objects in this Inform 7 tutorial. Now, the first thing I did was maximize the Inform 7 window, and I've already created a very simple scene. The bedroom is a room. And to further explain what I'm doing, the, there are times when a programmer will forget or not even know how to code that an object is unportable. And when this happens, the gamer may type the command to take an object, such as a bed. And the computer was not told that the bed could not be moved, since it's such a large object. Therefore, the gamer will be traveling through the game with a ridiculous large object in their inventory. So, in this bedroom, I'm going to create a few large objects that cannot be portable, and I'm going to show you the codes. The first, the first object will be a bed, <laughs> and I'm just going to type the bed is fixed in place in the bedroom. Now I'm going to give it a description. And the description is the bed is warm and cozy. When I run that, what you'll be able to see is if you examine the bed, it'll be warm and cozy. And if you take the bed, it says that's fixed in place. So that's the general answer. It's boring, it's uncreative. So, here's what you can do. By typing, instead of taking the bed, you say, in quotes, that's just too heavy for your tiny body to handle. Just make something up, um, a description for the bed in case somebody tries to take it. You're telling the gamer in a creative way that this bed is not portable instead of just saying it's fixed in place. So you can see a bed here. You examine the bed. It's still warm and cozy, but if you try to take the bed, it's just too heavy for your body to handle. And tiny is spelled wrong, so fix that. And we'll be good now. There then I will create I'll create another object, such as a dresser. And the dresser is fixed in place in the bedroom. Make sure the object is actually in the bedroom. And the description of the dresser will be, say, a beautiful oak piece of furniture with ending quotes. And yet, you cut and run that. In the bedroom, you see a bed and dresser. So if you examine the bed, warm and cozy, same thing, examine the dresser. It's a beautiful red oak piece of furniture. Now if you take the dresser, again, that's fixed in place. So I'm going to easily solve that by typing the same thing as before, just with a different description. And we'll just, we'll be a little sarcastic this time. You're too scrawny. You're telling the character they're too scrawny <laughs> to lift the bed so that they can't take it. And I forgot to add a say after the comma. And that works. So if you take the dresser, it's not going to let you. Um, so now that we have two unportable objects, the gamer knows they can't take them but they can examine them. Perhaps later you could make a special drawer in the dresser with some secret contents or whatever. But as of now you just know you won't be carrying a dresser in your inventory. And right now you're carrying nothing because those objects are not portable. But now I'm going to make a portable object. We'll say there's going to be a shirt. 
there is a wrinkled shirt. There's a wrinkled shirt that's portable. I spelled that wrong again. And wearable in the bedroom. And the description of the wrinkled shirt is say just your average dirty laundry. Simple knit. You see a wrinkled shirt there if you am in the shirt. Just your average dirty laundry as it says. And you could take the shirt. Again, if you push I for your inventory, you're carrying a wrinkled shirt. You can wear the shirt and then you put it on and it's no longer in your inventory. But you are wearing it. So So out of these three objects, I've made two that are unportable. The dresser and the bed and the shirt that is. It's also wearable. You could also make another object like a key. Can't really do anything with it except carry it in your inventory. But if you were not to make the key portable and it was needed for the game somewhere later and the user didn't know that but they couldn't pick up the key, your game won't work. No one will ever finish it. So you have to make sure that all objects are portable or unportable as they should be. And that is all I have in my tutorial. Thank you for watching. And my name is Tiffany.